Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we are looking at a board game uh, that's supposed to be like a tile game called a Lagoon Land of Druids. Uh, this one is put out by Three Hairs Games. Uh, and it's aimed at, it's one to four players, 60 minutes, ages 14 and up. Components are 27 double-sided tiles, 40 druid tokens, 81 seed tokens, four player references, eight player markers, one tile draw bag, one token draw bag, one rule book. And it looks like it's got kind of the Catan shaped things. It's supposed to be a pretty fun game. I've heard really good things. But I don't know much about it. I picked it up on kind of a whim. I am really bad at impulse shopping is what I learned from doing these videos. But let's open this up, see what we got in there. Maybe it'll be really awesome. Uh, it is nice that it is solo play, but it is only up to four players. So that might frustrate people with uh, a large game group. But since it's only about an hour of playtime, it could be something you bust out. You know, kill a little bit of time between games or something. Uh, the box is nice. Uh, it's nice and smooth matte. Sturdy too. Nice thick cardstock. Alright, we got a rule book. It says stop. Uh, you can also learn to play by watching a video on the website. Um, if you don't, if you're too lazy to read, 16 page rule book. Uh, it's got the solo player rules on the back here. And then, uh, like four player rules. So yeah, it's got the power swirl. I don't know what that means, but that's the power swirl. It looks like there's a pine cone involved, so that might be getting a little freaky. So yeah, it's got some nice art, it's color, it's good quality paper. Um, I think I paid 15 bucks for this, maybe a little bit less, I'm not sure. Then we've got a uh, solo player rules continued because they were too lazy to put page 17 and 18 on there. That's a little weird, but okay, whatever, at least they gave them to me. Oh, some plastic bags little velvet pouch so you can look really cool when you go to the Ren Fest. A big velvet pouch. But I don't like the feel of that. It feels weird. It feels cheap. Eh, but it's a free pouch. What do you want? Then these must be the player reference cards. Yep, player reference cards. Uh, these are really cool. The art's really nice. And it's just got the reference information on it. And they're all the same, of course. But I really like the art. That is really cool looking. Very nice looking art. I uh, expected something a lot cheaper looking, honestly. So, then we've got our tiles here. And that's pretty much everything. So let's look at these tiles. Alright, first up we have, these are numbered in the top, um, they are 3HG101 slash A, page 1, and this, this is B side, page 1, and then we've got page 2, A, and B. And you'll notice that on the back is different than the front for the tiles, uh, for the big tiles. Um, yeah, pretty nice. Uh, these pop out too, that's actually an instruction thing. So yeah, pretty nice thick stock. Uh, here is number 3A and 3B. I know some of these look upside down, but I can't really help that too much because uh, I'm lazy. 
here's 4A like the Crown Lagoon the art is really nice um, and the, the thickness of this is really impressive because that that is pretty thick cardstock and uh, the, it looks like it's perforated really well so you shouldn't have any problem getting anything out uh, here's number five we got the moon gate and the eye of the forest and Gaia's atlas all right so that's 5a and 5b we got the moon garden El Kabu herd dawn lotus uh, here's 6a presence of lagoon destiny helix uh, gossamer pass pretty nice looking game overall really I mean even if it plays like crap it's very pretty uh, we're here 7a with the Manai Temple Neem's Mirror and out ancient uh, Terrapin ancient something like that and on the back we've got Queen of Dream Ark Kindred Stone so that's 7B. Here's 8A. We got an Ancestral Garden. Um, seed Pack Heart. Seed Park Heart. Can't read upside down. I don't know why I keep trying. Uh, 8B. We have an Awakening Portal. Grisnit. And that's right side up for me and I still can't read it. I don't know what that word is. Uh, Jokulmus. Something like that. Then there's 9A, which is our last one. It's got the Fork of Destiny and the Flaming Lotus on it. That is some really nice art on here. I think these would be really cool, almost pinup style art. It's Some of it's really, really nice. Very beautiful. Uh, and there's 9B, uh, Chaos Manifold, Breath, Lagoon, Breath of Lagoon, and Glimmer Wisps. Uh, these are kind of heavy because they are very thick cardstock. Uh, the box is really well made, actually. Very good reinforcement. It's got some nice art in there, and along the edges has some really beautiful art, too. So the box is worth keeping around if you like the art style. I'm real impressed with this, actually. I thought this was going to be a lot cheaper quality, um, and the art quality is just amazing. And the quick reference guides are nice. But I was real impressed that they're so large and that they had art on them. I didn't expect that level of quality for what I paid for the game. My only complaints would be uh, these bags are kind of low end. They're, they're like something I'd pick up at the dollar store. Um, but they do give you these plastic bags too, which is cool. And they could have put this in the rule book. <laughs> Because that's not as good a quality as it being in the rule book. I think this paper is slightly less quality, actually. Um, but the rule book itself looks fine. Just that extra sheet should have been in there. I don't know why they didn't just duplicate some art on there and pay the little bit extra to have that attached. That's a little lazy. But overall, pretty impressive as far as quality goes. I haven't played it. I haven't watched any walkthroughs. I'm sure they're online, um, but it looks like a fun game. Uh, I don't really know a lot about it, but I've heard good things, all kind of generic, like, oh, it was fun, that sort of thing. I don't really know anything about the gameplay, but it's supposed to be a pretty good game, and it's a relatively inexpensive game, considering what how heavy it was. I was really surprised by that, um, especially the thickness of the, those pieces. I expected them to be, you know, cards a really low-end card stock like the player references but with the actual tiles but the art is really nicely done uh, the packaging is really solid uh, the weight of everything looked good it looked like a, it looks like a pretty interesting game and you can play one to four players which is cool it takes about an hour it's just 14 and up uh, it's probably fairly heavy on strategy so under 14 might be difficult and of course, don't give it to kids under three because there's little bits they'll choke on. But my only complaint really from my initial impression here is those bags. Uh, those look, and the, the extra rule book page, I'll learn to deal with, but really should have been included in the rule book. Other than that, looks good.
Uh, so that's what's in the box. That's Lagoon Land of Druids from Three Hairs Games. And that'll do it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you on the next episode of What's Inside.